Hey guys, so Chain here from Laser Gaming, and in this video, I want to talk about the Battlefield 2018 White Horse teaser. So, this is basically a picture that was shown inside Fort DeVoe in the secret room, and it's the one that also uses the thumbnail for the um, Battlefield Never Be the Same website, and it most likely has some sort of meaning to the game itself. So we're just going to kind of go into the possible different meanings of the white horse, where it's been used in history, and that sort of stuff. But if you want all the up-to-date news on Battlefield 2018, don't forget to subscribe down below for much more Battlefield 2018 content. And also, for all my Hardline fans, I've been posting some Battlefield Hardline on my second channel, moving a lot of the Hardline content over there. There'll still be some here, I just thought I'd let you guys know. So basically, we're going to just go through, chronologically, some of the different... Um, references to this um, in different wars. So in World War II, we had The Perfect Horse, which was a book written about the horses that were stolen by Nazi Germany, and then the Allies had to go in and take them back. So basically these horses um, were pristine race horses, and the Nazis wanted to steal them so that they could breed them and sort of create like a master horse race. Uh, sort of what they were kind of trying to do with people, um, but with horses as well. Um, pretty disturbing, honestly. And also, what ended up happening is an American battalion um, went in to try to rescue these horses, and they successfully did. What happened afterwards is kind of sad. The horses were not really returned to their rightful owners. They were just kind of, like, sold off and given away, um, which is kind of sad, but it's still pretty cool that they were rescued um, from sort of that just breeding lifestyle, and they were able to go back to being racehorses. Um, so that's one of the ones in World War II, and that's a pretty strong and cool reference because that could be something that... Um, would be in the war stories campaign imagine having to infiltrate um, Nazi Germany to rescue horses from the Reich that would be pretty cool as a war story in Battlefield 2018 and for those of you who don't know war stories are basically um, just like those individual campaigns that we had in Battlefield 1 each of them is about an hour or two and you sort of just play through them um, like a mini campaign and um, it's just sort of like a short story rather than like a full-on campaign and this could be one of the short stories in Battlefield 1 as we know that EA said that there will be um, multiple campaign stories plural in Battlefield 2018. Um, so the next reference comes in the Korean War and this is at the Battle of the White Horse. Now this one isn't as specific there's just a white horse bunker um, in Korea or a white horse hill um, that the two sides were fighting over and it just ended up being named the Battle of the White Horse. The reason why I don't think this is necessarily as pertinent is because the battle only um, had 19,000 casualties, which is quite significant, but I mean compared to World War II and the Korean War as a whole and some of the bigger battles in both of those, this isn't really that significant of a battle. However, it is still mentioning a white horse, so I thought I'd tell you guys that because who knows what the developers could be going for um, with this tease. And lastly, what we have is the Vietnam Apocalypse Now um, movie. And so basically, Apocalypse Now is just a Vietnam War movie, and it has Apocalypse in the title, and it's sort of a reference to, again, the Apocalypse and the terrors that were the Vietnam War. Now this brings in the White Horse because um, the Four Horsemen um, were signaled to bring in the Apocalypse um, as a historical and biblical reference and one of the four horsemen is a white horse. So that one's a bit more of a stretch, um, but again, I thought I'd bring that to you guys just so you guys sort of have all the information. Um, so what it looks like this is referencing to is either World War II, Korean War, or Vietnam. Now again, this doesn't necessarily mean that any of these three settings will be in the game. I'm just saying that that's sort of what looks like it's being teased from DICE right now. Now again, this could still go modern, and this picture could mean absolutely nothing. We really don't know at this point. Again, we're going to find out on May 23rd. But I thought I'd bring you guys all the rumors, keep you guys up to date on what's sort of going on in the community and what people are talking about. Um, but that's what it is with you guys. Tell me if you guys liked it down below. What do you guys think about these different rumors about the white horse, what it could mean? What do you guys think it means? But that's what it is with you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.